Well, hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Hairbrain Games. Today we're going to do an unboxing. That's right, we're going to take a box and un it. Uh, this is a game called Plantagenet. Plantagenet. Plant Somebody can probably pronounce that. The Cousins War for England from 1459 to 1485. That's quite a bit of time. Uh, look at that box art. It's a little unusual. I like it. I like it. It kind of fits the theme. It's a game designed by Francisco Grodier. Again. Someone can help me. This is Volume 4 in the Levy and Campaign series. It seems like the Levy has broken as far as the deluge of games that are coming out in this series. Um, I got I'm not going to say I'm I'm in like fatigue land yet, but definitely I have backed quite a few of them and I'm we'll see how far we take it. Each one has been pretty interesting. Some of them I've grokked more than others. I really thought you know, I still have a, hard, a soft spot for Nevsky, the original Levy and Campaign series, but uh, I'm I'm interested in trying some other some of the other ones out that have come about uh, Inferno, Almoravid, and now Plantagenet. That game. All right, let's open it up. We have yet again. Here's the rules of play, just like the first three. And again, they always do a good job of saying, okay, here's what's different than the first three. Which, some things are different, some things are not. It looks like they've just combined all of these two into one. Sometimes they had ones that say, hey, what's different from Nevsky, what's different from Almoravid, etc. This one looks like it just compiles everything together and says, if you played an earlier volume, well, turn up the volume here. Alright, we have the game board and map, which we'll see shortly. We have similar situation. Looks like we've got the same... I mean, a lot of this is going to be very familiar to anyone who's participated in the Levy and Campaign series. Again, attackers, defenders, looks like we got our units, men-at-arms, long war, okay. Feeding and scenarios. Love that map. Man, I love that map. Uh, but then I like all the maps in the Levy and Campaign series thus far. I wonder if we'll see a digital version of this like we do Nevsky at, at some time in the future. Anyway, lots and lots of content value. The background book, which is extremely important for these games because I honestly don't often know the background. This usually has uh, how to play it, how to gives a run through of a, of a game in progress, which is always handy, particularly for people diving into this as their first entry into the series. And then, of course, hey, what are we talking about? Why are we doing this? And again, all, every card, every event, all these things are always so well documented that you really are playing history in a box. All right, so we got that, got that. We have stickers. Hold on to your stickers. And then we have... Ooh, look at that. Look at that artwork. Shiny. Wow. That's, uh... Ooh, look at that. Are these, these must be for hiding things? For, I don't know. Anyway. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Nice. All right. These cousins don't get along. Then we have the standard command sheets, as you've seen before. I'm sure if you played any game like this, this is the breakdown of all the forces, information about them, what, uh... They can do, and then the you know, strongholds, battle, everything looks very familiar. Very familiar indeed. War of the Roses, special rules. Who doesn't love special rules? Rules are cool, but special rules are even more, even more awesome. All right, and then we have the board. And this is, um, let's check out the board of directors here. And it's a, you know, it's about Nevsky size. Okay, so we have the board. Look at that. And there we go. All right, you got your levy and campaign timeline. You've got the castles. <clears throat> Looks like some shorter, yeah, definitely different. Some shorter, more con condensed regions with the town, city, and fortress, Burgundy, you know, map, highway, road, and path. Well, that's interesting. I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy to see that. And then we have the cacophony of various chits. That are always incorporated here. Looks like we got the the units on one side. We got the look at that, ugh, like little flowers. Uh, okay, War of the Roses ish. All right, and then we've got our provender carts, ships. No sleds. This ain't gonna be in the snow like Nevsky. All right, and then we have cylinders. That cylindrical moment you've all been waiting for. And then we have these which will represent units in combat. You've got six sided six six sided dice and our typical arts of war cards. Yeah, look at that. Look at that shiny emblem. 
Okay, York, Influence, Leadership, Command, and Valor. Okay, I kind of like the style of card differently. There's some tweaks from the original. Northumberland, Command Cards, etc. You've got the, ooh, look at that, Henry. He's got his own set of Command and Art of War. So you got your, I'm going to open this up, and then we've got these, ah oh yes, the classic, uh, Here's the, if you wanted to compete or do the, the actual war part here, you can do it on this board. Otherwise, you've got these. These represent the various lords and units on the map. I always liked that. I always thought that was pretty clever. And that's what we got. That is Plante. That is this game, which I'm hoping to learn to most pronounce and play upcoming in the future at some point later this year. So thanks again, and we'll see you next time on Hairbrain Games.